Um, more than anything, it's good fun, I suppose. Good opportunity to be social, get some aggression out at the same time, um, and just take up a hobby that has something more to it than just staying in or not doing a lot physically. It's good exercise as well, basically. I think most of us enjoy that side of it. <laughs> There's a lot of locals. Um, we we never come down and don't see someone that you know. If once you've been there a couple of times, you meet you meet people. Even if even if you never came to a game with friends, you'll more than likely make friends playing airsoft, which is always another good thing. Um, first off, the right attitude. Because Airsoft isn't a game where people can just step in and think, oh, this looks great, I'm, I want to do this. You, you kind of need to research it a bit. <laughs> I've, had, uh, I've had both, and I normally ended up with nothing but problems with my uh, electric rifle. I had an M16. Um, for one thing, yeah, halfway through a game, suddenly your battery dies. You're sort of left stuck out in the field on your own with... Uh, just a spring, it's just constantly just pulling it back and forwards. Also, you can sit and push and have to run around so much there. <laughs> Definitely depends where you get shot. If you get the ears or the lips, it does tend to sting a little bit. Um, a lot of it is just based on honesty. I mean, that's the main foundations of a game is you want honest players to play with. First thing you'll want to do is go, awesome, I want to join Airsoft, I want to buy a gun. Whoa, hang on a minute. There's a few things you probably need to get sorted first. So the first thing is have a look around on the internet. Facebook is a great example. Have a look and see, are there any sites locally? Do any of my friends play it? Once you get that, you can then start maybe join a group on Facebook or you know, a specific site, maybe get chatting and say, hi, I'm new. Um, if you want to get into Airsoft, the best thing I can advise is a good pair of boots, military boots or walking boots, because that's the the biggest danger out here is hurting yourself, you know, on footing. Once you've got that, maybe a good pair of goggles, obviously to protect your eyes or a mask if you want to protect your face. Once you've done that, maybe buy some camouflage clothes if you want to, or maybe hire it from a site. And then once you turn up, you can then get an idea of the different guns rather than saying, I know what I want. You can go and have a look and speak to people. She lay on 